Chloe, part of the SH24 team. SH24 is a digital sexual health service in partnership with the NHS. This week is Sexual Health Week, a week dedicated to raising awareness around comprehensive sex education, as well as access to sexual health services. We've partnered up with the NHS website to answer all of your sexual health questions, which you sent through via Instagram. So let's get into it. Question number one, is sex good for you and how do you maintain a healthy sexual relationship? Consensual sex, when both parties want it, have consented to it and enjoy it, is good for you. It can be a lot of fun, it releases endorphins and it's a perfectly natural thing to do. Our tips for maintaining a healthy sexual relationship is lots of open and honest communication, always striving for enthusiastic and continued consent, being curious about one another's likes and dislikes, and communicating your sexual preferences without using critical language, because it should be a lot of fun. For some people, making conscious, designated time for sex can be really helpful too. Question number two. I have sex, but it's painful. Why is this? Sex should not be painful. If you're experiencing pain during sex, it could be that your body is trying to tell you that something's wrong, so don't ignore it. Pain during sex could be a sign of a number of different things, such as illness, an infection, or a physical or psychological problem. Pain during sex for people with vaginas can be caused by a number of different reasons. An infection such as thrush or an STI, the menopause where changing hormones can cause vaginal dryness, a lack of sexual arousal at any age, vaginismus, a condition which causes the muscles in and around the vagina to shut tightly, or genital irritation caused by an allergy to a spermicide, latex, or a scented soap or shampoo. If the pain is felt deeper in the pelvis, it could be caused by conditions such as pelvic inflammatory disease, endometriosis, fibroids, IBS, or constipation. For people with penises, pain during sex can be caused by infections such as thrush or certain STIs such as herpes, a tight foreskin which can make penetration painful, small tears in the foreskin which can't be seen but cause soreness, inflammation of the prostate gland or testicle pain and swelling. Get advice from a GP or healthcare professional if you're experiencing pain during or after sex. They'll try to find the cause of the problem and be able to tell you if you need any further treatment. If your STI results come back negative, the clinic may want to examine you and carry out further tests. Question number three, is masturbation healthy? Yes, masturbation is a perfectly normal and healthy thing to do. And for many people, it's a great way to reduce stress, release endorphins and show some self-love. As long as it's not affecting your life in a negative way, such as stopping you from getting on with daily tasks or negatively affecting your relationships, masturbation is a perfectly normal and healthy thing to do. And it can even have a positive effect on a sexual relationship. Question number four. There are so many different options for contraception. Where do I start? There are many different types of contraception, such as barrier methods, like the internal and external condom, the diaphragm and the dental dam, and hormonal contraception, which is the combined pill, the progestogen only pill, the patch, the ring, the injection, the implant, which is inserted into your arm and lasts for three years, the hormonal coil, the IUS, and the copper coil, the IUD. Permanent methods are the vasectomy or sterilization. It's important to remember that barrier methods are the only methods of contraception which protect against STIs. So if you and your partners aren't at risk of getting pregnant, you will still need to use barrier methods to have safer sex. Which method is right for you really depends on the individual. You can start with any method of contraception and see how you get on. You'll only know which method of contraception works for you once you try it. And most methods need about three to six months of getting used to. You can read more at nhs.uk slash contraception or sh24.org.uk slash contraception. Question number five, is it safe to use the pill? Yes, it's very safe to use the pill. 
and women have been successfully using the combined pill since the 1960s. It's a really effective method of contraception. You cannot take the combined pill if you have certain medical conditions, which is why a trained professional will always check your medical suitability before prescribing you the combined pill. It's also why you'll need yearly blood pressure readings as well as a full medical history taken every time you're re-prescribed the pill to check your suitability and check it's safe to use. The progesterone only pill is generally considered the safest contraceptive pill to take. So safe you can even buy it over the counter in pharmacies without needing the same medical checks as the combined pill to take. Of course, everyone is different and your experience using the pill may differ from somebody else's. It's important to find the method that works best for you. Question number six. How do you know that you have an STI and how do you treat it? Some STIs will trigger symptoms which will let you know that something's not right, in which case you can order a test or attend a sexual health clinic. If your test results come back positive for an STI, you will then be offered the correct treatment. Some STIs can be asymptomatic, meaning they show no symptoms at all. For example, it's possible to have a chlamydia or gonorrhea infection and have no idea that you have it. Regular testing for HIV and STIs is essential for good sexual health, and everyone should have an STI screen, including an HIV test, annually if having condomless sex with new or casual partners. In addition, women aged under 25 years who are sexually active should be screened for chlamydia on change of sexual partner or annually and gay, bisexual and other men who have sex with men should test for HIV and STIs annually or every three months if having condomless sex with new or casual partners. If you want to get an STI test, you can order one via the SH24 website or by searching for a sexual health clinic on the NHS website. Question number seven. Can I get an STI when having oral or anal sex? Yes, sexually transmitted infections can be transmitted via all forms of sex, including using or sharing sex toys. Question number eight, what is HPV and can you get it when using a condom? There are thousands of strains of HPV and most of them are harmless, self-clearing and you wouldn't even know that you had them. However, there are some strains of HPV which can cause genital warts, cervical cancers and mouth, throat and anal cancers. And these are the types of HPV that the HPV vaccine protects against. HPV is transmitted by a skin to skin contact. So that means even when you are using a condom, there's still a chance of transmission. Question number nine. If I've had genital warts, can I get them again? And do I still carry the virus to pass on? Whilst you have an outbreak and visible symptoms of genital warts, it is possible that you will pass the virus on. However, if the outbreak is cleared and you no longer show symptoms, it's very difficult to pass the virus on. You may get an outbreak again, or you may never experience symptoms of genital warts again. It depends how well your immune system fights the virus. So things like stress, an unbalanced diet, smoking and drinking can trigger another outbreak. Question number 10. Can the COVID-19 vaccine affect both male and female fertility? Rigorous studies were undertaken of all the COVID-19 vaccines before beginning the mass vaccination programme last winter. So far, all the evidence suggests that there is no effect on male or female fertility and therefore the vaccine is safe to take. Thanks so much for listening. I hope we answered all your questions and cleared up a few things for you. If you want to learn more about STIs, testing, contraception or anything sexual health based, you can head to the SH24 website or follow us on our social channels. You can also head to the NHS website's dedicated sexual health pages on STIs, contraception and all sexual health topics.